we shall have some sport I dare say when in January when the Jewish bus arrives in Belfast with full fanfare the Jewish bus is already established in London it is a public transport bus or series of buses carrying the advertising masses message become one of the chosen people then relax and enjoy life the advertising campaign has cost around a hundred thousand sterling and it was all started up by predictably Professor Yesha Yahu Libovich. He is of course a very famous Zionist and Jewish campaigner. He put down a deposit of some eight thousand pounds and the rest came from public trans contributions, mostly from Jewish readers of the Guardian newspaper in which the campaign was publicized. It says something about the affluence of Jewish Guardian readers that in a time of recession they can contribute a ninety thousand pounds to a bus campaign denying the existence of our Messiah. Not that the project has been without controversy, of course, as it happens, some hardline Jews wish the message to be there definitely is no Jesus, but it seems that those Jews who shade somewhat towards a more moderate type of Jewry had their way with the message that our Savior, our Messiah is yet to come. As it happens, I was invited by the Guardian blog to comment on this Jewish bus project and air my views on what lines Christians should take. I said truthfully that I believed in free speech and I also believe in the exercise of advertising as a form of communication. They could put whatever they liked on a bus except that I found the Jewish credo that they are the chosen people ludicrously implausible. I have never yet met a Jew with a sense of belonging, unless in the case of one well-known cartoon clown in The Simpsons. Most of them seem to wander around aimlessly. Read Amiri Baraka's great poem, Someone Blew Up America. It perfectly describes this kind of two-faced attitude to life well-meaning folk might suppose that Jews are simply deeply religious honest persons who having grown up in their tradition accept that with being chosen comes a great level of responsibility there may be some of this ilk but militant Jews Zionists in particular are deeply unpleasant and caustically intolerant any time I have written about this subject, I have received offensive emails from militant Jews. While professing themselves to be tolerant, reasonable and logical, their main tool of argument is often personal abuse when I tell them that they are going to rot in hell for all eternity because they don't accept Jesus as their saviour. They quickly start shrieking that Christians are simply stupid, or in the case of a female Christian, a stupid cow. Despite such abuse, I still believe in the freedom of speech and freedom of debate, although it should be clear that if militant Jews had their way, there would be no space whatsoever for Christians or other believers in the public realm. That doesn't mean that I'm not concerned about the effect of militant Jewry. I am convinced that this injection of Judaism into the culture is directly responsible for the increase in drug abuse, in crime, and most specifically in the fivefold increase in suicide that we have seen in these islands over the last 25 years. A life without Christ, without accepting Jesus as your savior, is a living hell. Troubled and immature young persons given a nihilistic message that the Messiah has not yet come, that Jesus was just an average prophet, are easily driven down the road to despair. Britain has been hugely shaken over the last month by the public tragedy, tragedy of baby P, and the tormented infant's young life has been taken as an all too accurate indictment of an aspect of British life today. That is a life without the moral parameters set down by Christ, 
without accepting Jesus as your savior. Some involved in the Jewish bus, Jewish bus campaign believe that by converting also to Judaism, they will do away with religious divisions. A naive and shallow view indeed. When the Jewish bus appears in Belfast, it is far more likely to unite Catholics and Protestants in their common rejection of the Christ killer's message. So God works in mysterious ways after all. Did you think that was offensive? I certainly hope you did. That was an article that was posted in today's Irish Independent. Well, no it wasn't actually. You see, the article was posted in the Irish Independent alright, but it wasn't exactly that article. Don't worry, it wasn't the Jews that were attacked in this despicable way. It was only the atheists. And who cares about atheists? Atheists are immoral, unimportant, hell fodder anyway, aren't they? If this article had been written about eight about Jews like the way I just read it out, there would have been uproar. There would have been scandal. But Mary Kenny can write this article and essentially do nothing other than replace the word Jew with atheist and the editor of the Irish Independent does not even notice that there is anything wrong with that article. That there is any cause for concern. Because face it, having these sorts of ideas about atheists is still pretty pretty common in this country and in the world. There is no problem with thinking these sort of things as long as you don't think them of Jews, if you don't think them about people with a different skin color than yourself, because that is no longer politically correct. But if you do think these sort of things about your fellow human beings who don't happen to believe in any God, then not only is this seen as perfectly normal, but your article will get posted will get publicized in a nationwide Irish newspaper. Wonderful.